Hello everyone and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. Last time we left off we were doing some miscraft stuff. Today I'm going to take a short break from that. We'll get back to it in the next episode. Or by the end of this one if we have time for it. Uh, I'm currently still working on solar panels and I need quite a bit more iron for this to work. So that's cool. Off camera I have done a little bit of a thing here as you'll notice in a minute and you might see out of the corner of your eye if you're paying attention. <laughs> that came off a little smarmy, I apologize. If you're paying close attention, it sounds a little less... Anyways, uh, so Ilmanite, 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 Ilmanite ore is uh, currently empty. And that is because, let's go behind the scenes, I have found a way to auto-process it, uh, auto-process it, well, found, I, I, not that I found a way, I, I put together a wet method of uh, auto-processing it. So here I have a dyna dynamism tablet, dynamism. Uh, Equipped with an Ikorium pickaxe, which will never break. Enchanted with Efficiency 5 and Fortune 3. Uh, in front of a Autonomous Activator, which is set to right-click whatever's in its inventory on Round Robin. Uh, into the space directly in front of it. I have a Vacuum Hopper here, hooked up to a chest, which automatically empties into these furnaces, which automatically output back to the top. So... The Ilmanite ore gets sent to the Autonomous Activator, which places it down and right in front of it. The Icor Pickaxe, the Icorium Pickaxe, uh, then starts to pick away at the ore until it breaks down, just like me breaking down a pick with a pickaxe. And then the ore gets turned into its components, which are titanium shards and iron shards, which then go into this chest which then gets smelted into these furnaces, into iron ingots and titanium ingots, respectively. And then those get put into the proper places, like the cyclic assembler that is currently making iron blocks for me, and the... barrel up here, the old uh, cobblestone barrel, is now holding titanium ingots. Uh, you can't make titanium blocks for whatever reason, so there you go. There you have it. That's what's going on there. Uh, we have tons of cobblestone right now. We also have tons of sand. I'm actually going to have to probably not put my next quarry over a desert. So, yeah. Do 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 do. So, today there are a few things I want to do. First and foremost, evidently sleep because it is the middle of the night. Oh, okay. First and foremost, I want to... Oh, and I renamed all my tools. So we have the Sephirin Void for my uh, for my staff. We have the Wind Slasher for my sword. The Gale Bow for my bow. Lucky for my Fortune Pickaxe. Silky for my Silk Touch. Uh, arbor side for my uh, axe and Terra for my shovel. Uh, <laughs> just cuz. That's why my levels are down. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, let's see. Yes, so uh, I have these bees out here manufacturing magic wax and certus quartz and redstone for me uh, for really no particular reason. Uh, but some of them currently have drones being produced, and rather than mess with their genetics, uh, I have another idea. Oh, and I burned down a house. Uh, turns out the firestone ore that's held in the barrels in the processing room, uh, just having them out as an item floating on the ground, or maybe even just in your inventory, will light everything around you on fire. So, this whole floor had to be redone, this whole ceiling had to be redone. I don't even know that I got it exactly the same way that I had it. Uh, this was all gone, almost. Uh, this wall was still standing intact. 
but all the way over to here, this whole wall was gone. This whole wall went about to here, I think. And this whole wall went about to here. So I had to remake this whole house mostly. So I had portals searched there. It's because I had to remake one of these because not only did the uh, item drop because it was not on anything anymore, but it also fell into a fire. So it burned to nothingness. So yeah. That was fun. Okay, so these worthless drones, well not worthless, but uh, useless to me right now. Begonia. So there's a flower in Batania that converts bees into mana. And I'm thinking it wouldn't be a terrible idea to hook one of these things up to its own mana pool. What did I... What? Why was I making Gaia ingots? <gasps> That's right, I had something that I've been meaning to do and completely kept forgetting to do. Let's do that first. See how it goes for us. It's the reason why I've been buffing up my arc, my runic shielding, which I forgot to increase on my great fairy ring, but that's not the point. <sighs> can I do this? I think I can do this. Okay, we're going to tackle the second level Gaia boss right now, because why not? Is this an apiary? Oh. What do you guys do? Regeneration? Probably regeneration. If I had to guess. Regeneration? No. Heroic, probably. You're probably... It's your default thing. Probably. Okay, that is super loud. Let's turn that down a tad. still pretty loud, so I'm just going to keep it like this. Whoa. Magic missiles, huh? Ow, fudge. Okay. Yeah, that stinks. Ow. It is an actual magic missile spell. You know what I should do? I should set up a an energized node here with uh, some of these relays all over the place. Kind of replenish my uh, my viz on the fly, like for my uh, runic shielding and all that kind of stuff. I kind of lost my inventory there for a second. Well, I didn't lose my inventory, I just lost track of where I was in my inventory. This is going well, I think. Kind of need to eat there. Actually, I don't really need to eat. My helmet ensures that I keep my health up even if I don't eat. If I remember correctly. I think that's what it does. Man, you are really loud music. My headphones. Really loud. There we go, that's a little better. Man, runic shielding is a lifesaver here. Probably should get more points of it, though. Because this is getting a little closer than I'd like. I am down a couple hearts. Oh, fudge. Where are you? Oh, no. I know you're going to summon mobs eventually. When is the question? Oh no. 
I really should just find a way to not click on that at all, ever. Okay. Man, you are annoying. That magic missile spell is really annoying me. And the fact that the point of origin keeps swapping as you just go along is pretty awful. Now, you're still launching them. Okay, well, they're pretty easy to dodge. Why aren't I healing? Well, there we go. Are we all done? Now. Now. He also appears to be taking damage when I'm not hitting him. I think that's the fairy ring, but I'm not sure. I do kind of want that iron, honestly. So. Yeah, this is almost over. Oh my god. My hearts are going down really fast. Oh, although actually not really. Okay, well that's good to know. It was not nearly as bad as it sounded. Whew, okay. Uh, let's turn that back up to 60, shall we? Okay, how many Gaia Spirits did I get back? 16? Not bad. Craft with a Terra Steel Helmet to add the following effect. Critical Hill hit damage increases with lower HP. Eh, I'm really not too stoked with that, so we're just going to not worry about it. At all. Uh, I got some items to dump. Uh, you. You. Honestly, I have something farming you, so I really don't care. Same to you. Mana steel, that's interesting. It's mana steel I don't have to make. Whew. Okay, so that was uh, a boss battle. Um, Gaia Spirits. This thingy I really don't need. Uh, this guy I do want to open. A Ring of Odin. A Ring of Odin. Ring of Odin. Da, 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 da. Lexic of Badania, please. Ender artifacts. Nope, not these. Um, Alpha Mancy. Ring of Odin. Hello. Uh, one of the three mystic rings of Azir. The Ring of Odin grants its wear the vitality and resistance of the Elder God Odin, as well as the addition of ten extra hearts of hell. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't spend all that... Uh, Oh, I assume it's powered by mana. Oh no, it's totally working. I'm going up to green hearts. Wow. Lovely. Hmm. 
Wow, okay, that is amazing. Wow, that should help in the next fight. Because I plan on doing that fight again and again and again. Um, am I not doing this correctly? Do I not have the inventory space? <laughs> is that the issue? Okay. Still no. Hmm. Do I have to do something with you? Ah, oh no, that's not right. I assume that's a way to downgrade you. Hmm. Uh, glowstone goes, I guess, in the AE system. Hmm. Okay. Like, really, why doesn't this work? Hmm. Oh well, I'll look into it. Uh, now I have green hearts, which is pretty awesome. Alright, now, before we go, let's go ahead and get this done. So I want three pieces of gunpowder, because gunpowder is the easiest thing to come by. And then I need a white petal, a black petal, and two yellow petals. White, black, two yellow. Like bees. Okay. Although, not I've never seen a bee with white on it. I don't think. I mean, to be fair, our honeybees are not really yellow either. They're kind of orange, but at least bumblebees are yellow. All right. Do I still? I don't have seeds in here, do I? I should really just keep seeds over here. I have a bunch of pumpkin seeds I should use. Why not? Okay. Simultaneously, I'd also like to make a mana pool. And we'll use a mana spreader, a normal one, I guess. Really doesn't matter. There we go. My begonia. I'm just gonna put you over. Here. Okay, let's see if this works the way I hope it does. It should. I don't see why it wouldn't. Okay, why is this not working? There it is. Wow, that is not quick. All right, in that case, the flower is the limiting factor here. So we'll just make two more of them, I guess, and then we'll call it a day. 
So I'm gonna need six more of you. Then I'm going to end up putting a spark with a recessive. That's what this is. I think that's what this is. A recessive augment on it. Oh, <laughs> that was uh, short-lived. Yeah, my arrows are much better. My uh, sky piercers. And the reason I call them sky piercers, by the way. Yep, it's not coming down. No how, no where. It's just gone. There we go. That's a little bit more frequent. Still not filling the spreader completely, but that's okay. Doesn't have to. Alrighty. And uh, as you can see, still no arrow. So, sky piercers. I thought it was pretty apt. So, uh, we are currently at time for today, though, so that's going to do it for this episode. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff, as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated. It helps me out a ton, and I do always love hearing from you guys. Next time, uh, next time, oh, next time I'll be showing you guys how to how I set up that whole Dynasm tablet thing. I'll I'll work through it through another uh, thing because I do need a setup to auto process. Silicon ore. And that stuff we're just not touching. Ever. But silicon ore. Silicon ore is the plan. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated. Helps me out a ton. And I do always love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the very next episode. Bye for now.